If you came here looking for me to eat this, you're wrong. I'm simply telling you, don't search any more of the videos for people eating these, and you, you. If you're thinking about putting this in your mouth, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Because apparently, y'all's mamas are not watching y'all, and y'all are out here on this internet doing whatever you want. Well, remember, I said, LSP, that lady over there on LSP production said, don't put this in your mouth. Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's me, LSP. Sorry I'm late today. I'm working from home. So let's just get right into this, all right? Bam. Why? Why on earth would you ever think this was something to eat? It's nothing cute. It's nothing funny. Why would you, why would you put this in your mouth? I mean, growing up for me, this word right here, Tide. That meant detergent. That meant something you wash your clothes with. It meant something that you just wouldn't put in your mouth. But... I don't know, I was looking on the internet and it seems to be trending that people are putting these in their mouths. Now, I'm allergic to detergent when it's wet, so I can't touch it. Now, I do know back in my house, you know, sometimes when I was growing up, my mom would let my sisters and possibly her use this as, a, not this, not this, but dish wash, washing powder. She would let them use that as dishwashing liquid because we had run out, but I couldn't do that because I am indeed allergic to it. So. Let's talk about the Tide Pod for a minute. Why did we need this? Why? This is pure laziness, okay? What, what was wrong with this? What, what was wrong with this, huh? Was it just too much, too much for you to handle? It's like, oh my gosh, I gotta go scoop it out. Oh, the scoop is just so heavy, I can't handle it, if only. If only there was a thing like this, a small pod with everything already in it, I would be just grateful to them. Now mind this thing, I got this at Gay Pride a couple of years ago from a, a gift bag, so I haven't used it because I just don't use pods, but it did come in handy. I'm glad I saved it so I could really see it. So let's read, let's read. Caution, keep out of reach of children and pets. Okay. Makes sense, right? Oops, oops, oops. Sorry, y'all. There we go. Keep out of reach of children and pets. Do not put in mouth or ingest. Do not put in mouth or ingest. Hmm. And yet you want to do something for a child? All right. That's it, guys. Don't eat these. Don't eat them. They don't even look like they would be good. I mean, I saw a picture of someone. I'm not even going to tell you what I saw because you might search it. Idiots. Idiots. If you're putting this in your mouth, then Darwinism at its finest, right? All right, y'all. So that's it. Quickly, let me talk about this old YouTube. YouTube, um, last year in March, I got an email from YouTube. They were telling me, hey, we're going to unmonetize your channel. You're no longer a verified YouTube partner because you don't have 10,000 channel views, okay? So since March, I have worked my butt off to get this channel up to 13,000 something odd channel views in less than a year, right? And I mean, we have 133 subscribers and we're trying to get up there. But it used to be that content and views were something that they really looked at. But I really feel like... What YouTube is trying to do is run out us little guys. They don't want us little guys out here. Just let the big guys make money, right? So I get an email that says on February 20th, I will no longer be a verified YouTube partner again. Been a verified YouTube partner since 2013, you know? So I understand that, you know, the big guys might be getting advertising, this, that, and the other. and But just, <laughs> we're working hard, too. I mean... I'm I'm not anywhere close to having a YouTube check cut, but it was nice to know I was getting just every little penny for getting out here and just making videos, you know. So I'm working hard. Hopefully by February 20th, we'll have a thousand subscribers. Oh my gosh, I'd be the happiest lady in the world if I had a thousand subscribers by February 20th. So that's what we're doing, y'all. We're pushing on, pushing forward because we don't want them to stop our money. It's hot under these lights. I got this hat on because I didn't comb my hair. So let me get off of this. I hope y'all have a great evening. Take care of yourselves. As always, no fear and no regrets.